what's happening in the Middle East and who is behind the rise in tensions. I'm here to break it down. We have been fighting a multi-front war for the past 10 months. It includes all of Iran's terrorist proxies. October 7th, the day that the Iranian-backed Hamas terrorist organization started a war by invading southern Israel and causing generational damage by murdering over 1,200 and abducting 251 more, including women, children, and babies. October 8th, the Iran-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon decided it was their time to follow suit. Since then, Hezbollah has fired around 7,000 rockets, missiles, and explosive UAVs at Israel. In one of these attacks recently, Hezbollah murdered 12 children in Majlis Shams massacre, where the terrorist group fired an Iranian rocket in a soccer field full of children playing on a Saturday evening. Justice was served when we eliminated Fuad Chukwu, Hezbollah's most senior military commander, with the blood of thousands on his hands, who was the mastermind behind not only the Majlis Shams massacre, but thousands of attacks against Israelis, Americans, and many others throughout the last four decades. And how about the Iranian-backed Houthis? For months, the Houthis have been attacking international shipping routes in the Red Sea, disrupting trade. On July 19th, this terrorist organization from Yemen launched a spontaneous long-range Iranian drone at Tel Aviv and killed the civilian in the resulting strike. In response, to their hundreds of attacks, our fighter jets precisely struck Houthi military targets in the area of the El Hudeda port in Yemen. This port is the main entry point for Iran to arm its terror proxies, the Houthis. For the most part, Iran has played the role of puppet master behind its proxies, funding, arming, directing them in their attacks on Israel and other Western targets in the Middle East. But on April 14th, Iran took center stage when in just one night, they fired over 350 ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and attack UAVs from Iranian soil. The story writes itself. Hamas attacks. Hezbollah attacks. The Houthis attack. Iran itself attacks. And when Iran or one of its proxies attack, we defend ourselves and strike back. If anyone threatens or attacks our civilians, we will not idly stand by. For years, Iran has publicly stated their goal to destroy the state of Israel by any means necessary, just like any other country would. We will defend ourselves and respond as necessary.